Everyone knows humans have a social network to connect online, but there's also a growing online social network for non-humans or things. We're talking refrigerators, streetlights, even garbage cans. We spoke to Daniel Price, the young CEO of the tech company Breadware, which develops products for the Internet of Things. Where did the idea come from and what is it? So the Internet of Things is actually a pretty old concept, but a rather new term. Uh, the first real example of an Internet of Things or IoT product could be thought of as the ATM machine. So this was a machine that you could extract money from and that it was connected to the Internet. The first real IoT product that gained some press and traction was the Nest thermostat. So it's a smart thermostat you'd put in your home. I you have could, those. Yeah, you could turn it on or off from work. It sort of learned your behavior and your preferences, and so it would start doing it automatically. And now IoT's sort of become a, a little bit of a gold rush, where companies are racing each other to get first to market on a new product that can collect more information about the consumer, and they can use that in ways to improve the business or improve the value. Is the purpose of these things that are connected to the internet to serve the consumer or to gather information about the consumer so that it can provide data that can be sold to other parties? The IoT products really can be deployed in two ways. It can be deployed such that the product has more value to the consumer or it can be deployed internally to improve operational efficiency of the business. Imagine, for example, lights inside of a building that respond to how much light's outside and they can dim or adjust appropriately to save efficiency, that's, that'd be an internal product. For a consumer product, you know, there's value to the consumer, but at the same time, the business can receive that information and then figure out how to better serve the needs of their customer. Or sell the data even. Or sell the data. And then that touches on many of the privacy concerns that, that this new type of product is opening up. Can you tell me the story about the toaster? So, in 2014, there's an IoT toaster launched in Europe, uh, and this toaster's name is Brad. And this is Brad. Brad is part of a new breed of products. And he was designed to want to make toast. There's internal metric in the toaster that it wanted to make toast, and it was connected to the internet, and you can see other toasters in its network and see how often they're making toast, kind of compare itself to them. If he's used more than other toasters, he will remark upon how satisfied he is. So if this Brad toaster feels neglected, he can wiggle his little toaster handle, trying to get someone's attention. When Brad is left alone for a very long time, he will try to draw attention to himself. And if you continue to ignore him, eventually he'll feel that his home's not a good one for him, and he can post a for sale ad for himself on the internet, trying to find a new home where someone's gonna actually use him. So it makes you think about household appliances in a different way if they have this connectivity, this intelligence, so to speak. What world do you see in five, 10 years for Americans that's different from today because of this development? So our home is gonna be much more connected. Our refrigerator will know what's in it. It'll tell you when the eggs are going bad. It'll probably automatically reorder them. So there's a convenience aspect. But then there's also the, the aspect of the environment itself is gonna be more intelligent. You go to a mall and you'll be recognized. You're driving down the street and you're recognized um, by the signs or by the road. And this brings up questions of privacy, which is the biggest talking point along with security of IoT today. Do you think a better world comes from the expansion of the Internet of Things? I believe it does. These devices are being deployed to serve the needs of the elderly. Um, think of a more advanced, you know, help I fall and I can't get up type button. People are able to stay at home and not have to move into um, assisted living centers longer. IoT is being deployed on the roadways to make for safer driving conditions. And there's also the convenience and the business efficiencies. So I, overall, I believe that there's a lot of good. We just have to get ahead of the, um, the possibilities of, of rights infringement and security challenges. Because these devices, they'll also be managing systems of machinery or equipment that you know, lives depend on. So we have to trust them to be making the right decisions. As for privacy concerns, Price says the European Union is ahead of the U.S. and that people there are deemed to own the rights to their own data. The EU is launching a new initiative that puts a dollar figure on violating data security. By the way, Brad the Toaster was a whimsical prototype in Europe to demonstrate the possibility the future holds.